Hello, my beautiful lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be making ko hakuto. So this was brought to my attention by many of you. Thank you guys so much for sending me links and information about this because I had no idea it existed. And when I saw it, I knew I had to make it because they are spectacular. So basically what ko hakuto are, are edible gems or rocks that are jelly on the inside and crystallized sugar on the outside. They're soft and squishy, yet hard and crystalline on the outside. So this is a super simple recipe in terms of ingredients. There are only three. You need water, agar agar, and sugar. So agar agar is a vegetarian gelatin or jelly. I've used it in a couple recipes, including my beautiful raindrop cake and my unicorn jelly cake, which was the Vietnamese rau gao. And so it's a very interesting jelly and a great alternative if you're vegetarian. So what I have here are two different versions. In the past, I've used this, and this is the telephone brand agar agar powder, and it comes from Thailand. Well, this one, this is a Japanese version. So as an experiment, I'm going to test out both brands of agar agar powder and compare the results. For you scientists out there, I should also mention this is the same agar agar that is used in the bottom of petri dishes to grow colonies of viruses and bacteria. It is the jelly medium found in the bottom of petri dishes. I believe this is originally a Japanese recipe, but there are a lot of Korean how-to videos on how to make this, so I watched a bunch. I looked at a lot of blog posts to come up with this recipe and this technique. So come along with me and I'll show you what I did to make these gorgeous, gorgeous edible gemstones. Click on the link in the description to find the exact recipe amounts. Once the powder has dissolved into the water, we're gonna bring this to a boil and boil it for three or four minutes, and then we're gonna add our sugar. Lots of sugar. Now we really wanna incorporate the sugar and have this dissolve as well, so I'll boil this for another three or four minutes until the sugar is completely dissolved. So next we're gonna prepare our tray. I'm just using some glass storage containers. Use a little bit of oil and rub it on the inside of the glass so the jelly will come out a little easier. Now we're gonna pour our hot jelly into our greased containers. So at this point, if we compare the two jellies, the Japanese one has a beautiful clarity, just crystal clear, and a really nice kind of jellied consistency. Um, the Thai version is not as clear, and it is a little bit more runny. Pour a good thickness, I would say at least half an inch to three quarters of an inch in depth. So now for the fun part, we're gonna add some food coloring, and many of the videos I watched, they used gel food coloring, but I used gel and liquid, and I found both of them worked equally well. You don't need much here, just add one or two drops of your food coloring, and use a stick to kind of swirl that in. So you can mix it really well to get an even homogeneous color, or you can leave it a little bit swirled or layered. That leaves a really beautiful jelly, so I suggest doing a little bit of both. Mix and swirl any colors you want. I used a couple of our own stones for my son's rock collection for reference, but I found any vibrant color actually makes beautiful, beautiful gems. So now we're going to place these into the refrigerator and allow them to set at least an hour up to about three hours. When the jellies have set, we're gonna take them out of the fridge. Now we're gonna take the jelly out of the mold. You might need a knife. And then we're just gonna break the pieces into nice little shards so they look like pieces of rock. And you can also use a knife and shape the pieces into facets so they look more like crystals. We're gonna place the pieces onto a piece of parchment and we're gonna allow these to dry. At this point, I thought the Japanese agar agar was a complete fail because it was totally, totally soft and gushy. I let it set for four hours and it wasn't getting any firmer. But I went ahead and ripped up the chunks and allowed it to dry on some parchment paper just to see what would happen. So these need to dry for at least two days, up to four days, and they'll develop a nice, crystally, crunchy shell on the outside. And they'll begin to look more like stone. All right, so here we are three days later, and here are my beautiful crystals. And they're so, so gorgeous. They're transparent, and they look like gemstones. They're so beautiful. I love the ones that are shaped. Also like the ones that were just torn as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful finish. I'm so surprised how rock-like they turned out. So the ones that were made with the Japanese agar agar weren't entirely a complete failure. They kind of looked blobbish. I actually crushed them a little bit so they would have a little bit more facets. And as you can see, they're very squishy still in the middle, but there is a nice sugary coating on the outside. The colors were much more vibrant in the Japanese agar than the Thai agar, which were a little more cloudy. But these look much more like rocks. And listen to this crunch. Isn't that wonderful? When I was a kid, I loved collecting rocks. I was fascinated by crystals. And I want to make some kind of 
rock collection cake or something, but I haven't really figured all out. So I don't expect these are gonna taste like much because there's just sugar and water in here after all, but I didn't wanna mess with the recipe yet until I perfected this. So in my next attempts, I'm gonna try using 7-Up or some other kind of flavored drink. So let's give this a taste. Get the Dakimas. And as I predicted, they don't taste like much. They just taste like pure sugar. The texture of them is pretty incredible. They have a beautiful, crunchy, sugary exterior that has a beautiful, crackly feel to them. And inside is a nice jelly, a little bit firmer than a jello, but a jelly still. This is what I mean about the texture. Let me show you up close. That's what they look like inside, nice and jellied. And they have this crunchy, crunchy, sugary coating on the outside. Amazing. Let's crunch another one, so just so you can hear it crunch. Ready? <laughs> These don't taste very good at all. In fact, they don't have much of a taste at all. They just taste like sugar. Kind of like the raindrop cake in the sense that they're just so stunning, but then when you actually have it, they're kind of a disappointment. Although I think there's a lot of room and improvement for this recipe. Just add a little bit of juice, as I said, or some flavoring, and then you've actually got something that's more palatable, but gorgeous. Just absolutely stunning. Let me taste one of these. So let me show you this up close. This is much softer. As you can see, they just kind of just break, but look how beautifully crystal clear that is. See, much goopier and jellier, but let's give that a go. Mmm, that actually has a really nice crunch to it. More of a shardy, glassier crunch on the exterior than the other version. Although it's very, very mushy in the middle. I think this just needs to be tweaked in terms of the amount of agar agar powder. Perhaps I need to cook this longer so the jelly is more concentrated. This definitely has its potential, but it needs to be kind of worked out. These are gorgeous and super fun to make. I would highly recommend making them with your children. Look for the telephone brand. This definitely was the winner here. Although this makes me want to reattempt the raindrop cake because it was just so beautifully clear. Two different types of agar agar, different applications. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. And big thanks again for those of you that suggested to make this. If you have any other ideas or suggestions, please send them my way. You can find me right here. And yeah, share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, you know, right here. And I shall see you in my next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. I will sparkle like a wealthy woman's neck.